Hello fellow candle connoisseurs, this is Candace bringing you another review. This time it is for a Goose Creek haul. Um, I have a couple of uh, YouTubers that I follow that usually give out pretty good information. And I was watching one the other day. He did a Goose Creek haul and he had these two items in his haul and they sounded very good. So I hadn't brought um, a bunch of Coos Creek in a while and I had just bought uh, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret so I figured I'd buy some of these because it sounded really good and um, I'm actually kind of disappointed with this haul. It's not what I thought it would be. Um, first of all, excuse the shaky camera. I still have not put up my light yet. I am going to do that though for my next couple of hauls but I'm up early trying to get to SAS hopefully before my doctor's appointment and um, I just want to knock this out I'm actually doing this backwards I've already tested all these items but I just wanted to get it all in a haul as well um, like I said he reviewed these two and I thought they would be awesome because I knew this candle was great I love the candle and this sounded great too um, but it's not as I thought it was gonna be so first let me do the body care um, this one like I said it's awesome in the candle it is a uh, marshmallow um, what is this waffle cone marshmallow waffle cone they had a repackage this in a different name before and I can't remember what it was um, but this is um, they had this under another name before, but it's marshmallow waffle cone, and the scent notes are fluffy marshmallow, warm vanilla bean, and dipped waffle cone. Like I said, the candle is awesome. It was a peanut butter something scent. That's what it was called, but I can't remember the name of it exactly. Um, this does not smell that great. It kind of smells like french fries, and it doesn't have a lot of scent to it, but it feels really good on the hands. I wash my hands constantly, especially since I'm um, uh, high risk for the uh, coronavirus. So I wash my hands constantly. I use a lot of hand sanitizer. And I just put this on my hand and my hand smells so great. It looks a little bit greasy, but it doesn't feel greasy. And um, it just makes my hands really, really soft. So, um, and I use a lot of um, creams and stuff. I mainly use high-end ones, but I am really impressed the way this feels. This does feel really good. So if you don't necessarily want a high-end um, hand cream, but you want something that really moisturizes, this is really good. I just don't recommend this particular scent. Like I said, the candle is awesome, but the body care, the scent doesn't smell like it, and it's very light. This was another one I was um, interested in because I love lavender and it said lavender vanilla and that's what he was talking about. But when I got it, I did not know that it had so much other stuff in it. And it would have been great if they would have kept it lavender vanilla and maybe one other note. But they added too much to it and ruined it. It's uh, It seems to be like a unisex scent. So don't let this fool you guys. This smells like a unisex scent definitely a man can use this uh, let's see the scent notes are fresh lavender violet rose jasmine amber cedar wood and warm vanilla so so you can see they put way too much stuff in this to call it just lavender vanilla there is no rose whatsoever um, I really don't get an amber I really don't get too much vanilla. I mainly get the a little bit of lavender, lots of violet and amber. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, cedar wood. It's uh, pretty masculine. A woman can use it too. It's definitely unisex, but it's not a lavender vanilla. So when you get this, don't think you're getting lavender and vanilla because you're not. You're getting all those other scents in it. And like I said, there's no rose, um, not really much of vanilla. It's more like I said, the violet, amber, cedar wood. But it's good. It's not nothing I would have bought if I'd have known that it wasn't a true lavender or vanilla. But it's all right. I'm going to use it. Um, and, and you might like it if you like those types of notes together. It's just 
I was expecting a lavender rose, but it's not a bad scent at all. Um, I think the hand cream smells, uh, feels better than the lotion does. So if you want something very moisturizing, um, definitely stick with the hand uh, cream. Sorry, my light is going out. Okay, now I did these, I melted these for hours each. I've done individual reviews on these. And uh, let me go with the one that's just totally gross first. Um, let's see what the scent notes are. I've got all these scent notes written down everywhere because there's so many freaking scent notes. Um, this is for the white ice and cinnamon roll. And the scent notes are sweet cinnamon sugar, marshmallow vanilla icing, doughy cinnamon roll. I read those scent notes and I was so thrilled. And um, you do not get that at all. It smells like Play-Doh with a hint of cinnamon. It smells absolutely gross. It's one of the top five worst um, scents I've ever had in my life. And I have been into home fragrance for over three decades. So this one, stay away. I don't know if it was a bad batch, but it's absolutely nasty, gross. Stay away from it. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's early morning here. I've got to get my lights set up. I'm, I'm definitely setting my light up um, Wednesday when I do my next reviews. Uh, I'm going to save the best for last. The second one is Chocolate Angel Cupcake. And the notes for this are Angel Food Cake, Milk Chocolate, Whipped Cream, Soft Pear, Creamy Cake, Warm Sugar. Um, you don't get Soft Pear whatsoever. And you don't get that vanilla um, Angel Food Cake scent. This is really not a bakery scent. It's just a chocolate scent. Um, it had a pretty decent throw. It filled my room up decently. I would say six and a half, seven. Uh, well, mm, trying to see. I'll say six and a half would be about the throw. It's a little bit artificial. It's not a gourmand scent. You're not really getting that bakery note as it says with the cupcake. It's just a milk chocolate scent basically and yeah, slightly artificial but it's doable um, I probably would repurchase it if I could not get the homemade brownies um, so keep that in mind it is good it's not super great but it's good a little bit artificial like I said pure milk chocolate not really a gourmet or bakery note in it and the star of the show is homemade brownies. I didn't have too much of a high hopes for this because um, uh, on cold sniff it doesn't really smell that great and it took a long time to start throwing but when it did start throwing it was really good I would say at about a seven it did fill my room up and this is awesome it's a really rich milk chocolate and let me tell you the notes on this one um, molten chocolate frosted brownie batter Milky Vanilla Chocolate Chips. It smells decadent. It's really rich, a really good chocolate. It doesn't smell exactly like baked brownies. It smells like the brownie batter. And it's just really nice, sweet, sweet rich. Um, really makes you hungry for some brownies. This one is definitely a winner. I love this one. This one's really good. I would definitely repurchase this one. It is a um, good throw, um, pretty authentic, just a really, really good, nice scent. Um, my gold standard had been Yankee Candles um, Chocolate Layer Cake because that one just throws out of this world and it has an awesome smell. Um, this one, I have to really say, be my second favorite so far as chocolate goes. It is really good. I highly recommend it. As I said, good throw in a small bedroom, about a seven. Really rich, authentic, smells like the brownie batter. Just really good. So all in all, this whole haul was not good for me, which is rare because I love Goose Creek products. Um, but as I said, these three were a no-go. This one was okay and this one was awesome. So that's about it. Check out the individual reviews for the wax melts that I made. Um, check out my past uh, videos and check out my present ones coming up. I've got Bath and Body Works, um, Victoria's Secret, 
and some other things coming up for you, some scent works and just a bunch of other stuff. So please support my channel, guys. Get your family and friends to uh, subscribe. Once I hit that 100 subscriber mark, I'm going to do giveaways. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and just support me, guys. I appreciate all your well wishes, and I hope you're having a wonderful day or a wonderful evening wherever you are.